Hey, how everybody doing? This is Mike again, and uh, I want to talk about another classic fight. Uh, it was Royce Gracie versus Hidoko Yoshida. And uh, awesome fight, two, uh, two legends, two of the sport, MMA. Mostly from pride, too. Um, you know, Royce Gracie, he fought in UFC also uh, in pride. But I want to talk about uh, first uh, Hidoko Yoshida. Um, He's a Japanese fighter. Definitely, he's known for his uh, judo. Uh, most of his comp accomplishments excuse, came through judo. Uh, Olympic uh, champion, I think it was '92. I think he won the Olympic Games gold medalist. Uh, he won the silver and bronze too, and in, in, in other organizations. Uh, and a sport, uh, a gold medalist judo practitioner, known for his judo. And at that time, pride, you, you can wear your gi. And uh, Royce actually wore his pants, the gi pants, and um, it was an awesome fight. And he definitely took advantage of that. Uh, I'm talking more about Yoshida. Um, he has good stand up too, excellent stand up. Um, he had, I think, it's over 20, I believe, I know over 15 uh, MMA fights for sure. Uh, I think he had eight losses, more wins than losses though. And and he had a quite definitely his classic match with Royce Gracie too. And um, it was an excellent fight. Uh, like I said he has great stand up, but I love his his takedowns and his, and his submissions is real great. But when he was fighting Royce, um, Royce Gracie, you know he's known for his jiu jitsu. Uh, legend of the sport brought Brazilian jiu jitsu, you know, to America. Him and his family, and um, he started. He, he was uh, the, what UFC won. You know, he's a, a legend in the sport. And he started from right from the beginning. Had some great fights. I know Kim Shamrock, um, uh, this one, uh, so, some more. Sakuraba, uh, one he won and lost. Uh, two fights, and I'm going to talk about that more in videos. But uh, he's definitely loving I love watching him. I'm going to talk about him on more of his fights and talk more about him. But uh, if you watch that, even though uh, Yoshida had a great Olympic background for takedowns and uh, submissions from judo and uh but as you see that his his brazilian jiu-jitsu it, it overpowered it and you and you through the fight and he talks about that in his family if you walk to watch documentary his family they at that time they believed that all you need was brazilian jiu-jitsu and it showed it and now you know now it's times are different uh you know a lot of people have uh you know it's been over, over 20 some years since you know he came on the scene i think it was 92 93 so it's uh brazilian jiu-jitsu have evolved up uh, it's still you still need it, but you know there's a lot of people now that's real good at it. So you have to have a combination of things to be a, a top fighter, uh, in my opinion, in the sport right now. But uh, it was excellent fight. He dominated with his jujitsu, mostly through the fight. So you definitely have to, should check it out and watch it. I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a classical fight. But uh, yeah, he he overpowered him and. They called it a draw because uh, it was at that time frame. It was a limit. It was a time limit in Pride. They had so many different rules, and what I was rule got me. You can kick people in the face, and then you can lay down and kick them. Or you can stomp on them. Show them on the type of one of his fights that he did at one time in his fight. But uh, yeah, it's a fight that you should definitely watch. I recommend it. It was awesome. Uh, I like seeing uh, Royce uh, do his ground pound. I mean his uh, jujitsu because it's, it's very special. It's good to watch. Uh, but yes, I check it. It's a uh, Royce Gracie versus a uh, Hideko Shishida, uh, Japanese fighter, great fighter, and it's definitely something you should check out. Check me out at michaelpeoples.com and watch me on YouTube to hear more about more fight videos. All right, you have a good one.